5. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Burton. Thanks for joining us tonight. Some people were jostled awake by a loud boom and some rumbling early this morning. And some even saw a fireball going across the sky. Now astronomers say that loud explosion was likely the result of a meteor traveling through the Earth's atmosphere somewhere near the Sierra. We have team coverage of this strange event for you tonight. Meteorologist Jeff Thompson has more on the overnight meteor shower, but let's start with Paul Nelson, who's live in East Reno. Paul, why do experts think this was a meteor? Well, first of all, Jennifer, there was no seismic activity recorded during this event, so that rules out an earthquake. And with so many people uh, reporting seeing a fireball and hearing a loud explosion from hundreds of miles around, the best explanation is a meteor. This picture was sent to our newsroom by a viewer this morning, and experts believe it is, in fact, the meteor that so many people are talking about. They hit our thick atmosphere um, with a lot of force, and, and they usually break apart before they hit. And when they break apart, they can, they can explore, explode with a big boom that would sound like a sonic boom. Take a look at our pinpoint map. The loud boom and flash of light were reported from Winnemucca to Sacramento and as far south as Bakersfield, California. And I heard it, kind of felt it a little bit. My first thought was either a large explosion somewhere or something had crashed. I was laying in bed and all of a sudden I heard a quite a loud boom and then like a second slightly smaller uh, explosion it sounded like. Experts say meteor showers are usually smaller pieces of dust and this was probably unrelated because this meteor was about the size of a washing machine, like this meteor right on display at the Fleischmann Planetarium. They say the Earth gets hit by chunks of rock all the time, but seeing one this size is much more rare and can also play tricks on people. It's deceptive because in looking things in the sky, um, everybody thinks they saw it just right in front of them and that it landed just over the mountain range next to them. And in reality, that's never the case. In fact, Ruby says it probably didn't land at all, vaporizing before hitting the ground. He says it's possible that smaller fragments may have landed, but they would be very difficult to find. Now, Ruby tells us he doubts this is comet fragments because those are so rare. And then he also doesn't think that it might be space junk because usually if there's a dead satellite falling to the Earth, it's tracked pretty well. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Wow, thanks, Paul. Let's turn things over to Jeff Thompson in the Weather Center. And Jeff, even though Paul tells us this meteor was unrelated to last night's meteor shower, we can still expect some meteor activity again tonight. It's true. We peaked last night with the Lyrid meteor shower, but that doesn't mean we are finished with it. The Earth is still in part of the debris field left by the old comet Thatcher, and that is really the source of most of our meteor showers. Little bits of things, as Paul mentioned, from the size of dust to the size of maybe a green pea burning up in the atmosphere, catching fire and friction and lighting up, and that's what we'll see again tonight. Less meteors, less coverage tonight, midnight to dawn. That'll be your best opportunity to get out and enjoy these things. Uh, that's